Um, I was born in Lima, Peru. And when I was about the age of five, my mother took me away from there. I just woke up one morning, all my bags were packed, and we left. And we came to the Washington, D.C. area. I had no explanation of why that happened. And I went without my father for a um, few years, up until I was the age of 13, at a point where, you know, a female really does need their father and um, those values instilled in them. And I never got that explanation, but I developed this anger towards my father. Um, when I did get in contact with my father and he moved over to the States, um, I would have weekends with him. And my father used to spew venom over my mother's name. And I think that that's a lot of what happens with these sticky and cold divorces. And, you know, all I did was stand up for my mother. I now have a healthy relationship with both of my parents, but I fully understand that if they had the resources back then to get over this divorce, get over this separation, then I think that things would have turned out a lot different. I don't think that parents understand how much it affects the children and how much it can manifest into their lives, whether it's relationships and situations. I had a lot of behavioral issues when I was growing up. And, um, you know, I had to find my own way of understanding everything that I was going through. But, you know, thank God now I have both of my parents. And, but I, I'm so appreciative of the Toby Center and the message that they're trying to put out there. And um, eventually I would like to work with the adolescents um, coming into the, the Toby Center because I really can relate and I can, really can, um, I can understand those feelings and I can understand the issues that they go through. And, um, you know, I just love Mark and I love Kim and I'm so appreciative of them. This is like a little family. And, um, you know, I only see this place going far. And as I said, I do the social media eventually. Um, we would like to put it online so that not only it'll spread through Boynton Beach, but online around the country so that there can be mediation and counseling on the computer. So eventually we would like to get there. Uh, Marianne Dybiek, she's on our board. She works. Um, She's the director of the Children's Rights Council in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. She sent us over this statement over the need of the Toby Center. Um, I'm a prominent, I'm, I am a proponent of shared parenting. It is true that the courts do not do enough for the parents to facilitate, in every case, a proper distribution of parental rights. However, I firmly believe that it is the parents of the children who should be more educated in the aspects relating to the benefits of true shared parenting. The courts always give the parents first choice in child access schedules. If, extenu if extenuating circumstances exist, let professionals intervene, but allow some sort of access in order to be, to be good parents. We need to remember what it is like to feel like a child. So thank you very much. Appreciate it.